Tick been there before. I will live and fight to fight. This is Romain Verga, Big Up Aromatic, Realistic TV, YouTube. Check them out. You don't know. Only for love. Everything. Reality check man from your device, you know, you know it's a unique one, aromatic realistic TV. Anyway, today, my viewers and subscribers, today we are in beautiful Portland where they said that the boat land. <laughs> but I'm doing some serious probing this morning on Portland because something fundamentally wrong is taking place in Portland where it's concerning election and it's gonna be something that the people's national party and i and that, I, Mark that Mark Golden Mark and the people who are in high authority in the people's national party probe this and sort it out go fix east portland west portland before the general election something fundamentally wrong is going on over there and this is a warning to the people's national party the leader mark jefferson golden and the high authority within that party portland need to address and need to address fast speedily quick because the commissioner of police is not doing it brother the minister of national security is not doing it brother and the government of Jamaica is not doing it. So, so it, is, it is the PMP who have to go and do that. Fix it before the general election, brother. Fix it before the general election. Because the question today, you know, aromatic is asked, you know, was the people of Portland democratic right was stolen away from them in this previous local government? election is the people of portland democratic right was stolen away from them in this local government election that just passed and first we have to look at vote buying vote by no beer face when no man no care again man park up on election day with millions and bind the people of jamaica as if they are still in slavery two we have to start look at intimidation with portland voters and three government badness three government badness but i want the people of jamaica and the people who are in the diaspora must remember this when the seat in east portland come available remember a murder the murder linval bloomfield linval never go in bed go sleep and never wake up back it wasn't a heart attack that kill him i never want accident kill him i murder them going to linval bloomfield house go murder him and that is how east portland come available when they run the by-election with crawford So you know, take this thing to consideration. Nobody was charged. Nobody held accountable. So people feel emboldened. Like they can show up at any time with van load and chuck load and car load of money and buy our brothers and sisters like we are still in slavery. But I have some video that I want to show to you guys. That I want to use to prove my case. As I continue with this content. And the first one that I am going to show you is the MP himself, Darrell Vaz, posting this behavior, government badness, when him using an white cross, yes, sir. 
we know what that means, Jamaica. Anyway, take it away. So Jamaica, that is the bad man, gangster, thugs, MP, Darrell Vaz. You see the behavior that in this play, the boss short behavior, the bad man, the gangster, the government badness image. Well, that is the MP of West Portland. But the, but next, the next clip, clip that I want to show you, Jamaica, is one of vote buying blatantly in the sight of everybody. Big, bold, mighty. We're not afraid. We're not hide anymore. We just bite anywhere, anytime, any minute. This is all we are run, Portland. Anyway, take it away. Jamaica and the people who live in the diaspora. Let's run it back one more time again. So Jamaica, you see that, my viewers and subscribers, you guys see that, blatant, just take into consideration that my four parents, you know, and your four parents was roped and cast and bring across the specific Hundreds of thousands of miles away, you know. Band and bone in chain and shuttles. For months. Them a travel upon the shit there, you know. If them want to defecate, you know, same place them defecate, you know. If them want to pee, same place them pee, you know. And the one them that were sick and can't make it, them throw overboard. I said, my four parents, our ancestors, 
were bound and chained and shackled, sold and put them on a ship. Hundreds of thousands of miles away in one direction, lying down. If they want to poop, same place. If they want to pee, same place. And the one that was feeling ill and could make the journey, they were tossed overboard. And there is no pride in this brother, your one named Darrell Vance, in the 21st century, to buy in our peoples like cattle on a ranch. In this 21st century, the Andrew Wellness Administration, the Minister of National Security, the Commissioner of Police, Fitz Bailey, and the I authority in Jamaica allowed this to happen. Buying our peoples like cattle on a farm or fruits and vegetables in the market. And the Jamaica Labour Party administration, they are fine with it. That's where we are. So when I said we are in trouble, Jamaica, the PMP must go to work and go to work fast. Portland need to rescue. And, it's, and it is in the hands of the PMP to do so. Because the high authority in Jamaica is not paying any attention to it. This clip, the next clip that I, that I am about to present to you is when Cliff Hughes call it for the People's National Party. And that was about nine after nine on the 26th of February which was last week, Monday. And when Cliff Hughes call it, what did Cliff Hughes say? The People's National Party, the PMP, was leading in Portland six to three. Anyway, I'm going to play it now and you listen what Cliff Hughes said. But if you're just joining us, we can tell you it's dead heat in the corporate area 17 and 3 2020 in st thomas five to the pnp four to the jlp portland pnp six three in st mary with 47 jamaica i'm gonna play about that counted so far one more time again so you can hear what six. Cliff you said. In St. In St. Thomas. Listen, Jamaica, keenly. The PNP, four to the JLP. Portland, PNP, six, three. In St. Mary, with 47%. Jamaica, I'm going to play it one more time so you can listen what Cliff you said again. In the corporate area, 17 and 3, 20, 20. In St. Thomas, five to the PNP, four to the JLP. Portland, PNP, six, three. In St. Mary, with 47% of the votes counted so far. What did the man say, Jamaica? If you just join us, it is dead eat in the corporate area. If you just join us, it is dead heat in the corporate area where it's tied for the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation. PMP have 20 and GLP have 20. He goes on and he stated that in St. Thomas, the People's National Party have five and the Jamaica Labour Party have four. He goes on and he make it clear that in Portland, the People's National Party have six and the jamaica labor party have three so jamaica my viewers and subscribers that was cliff Hughes 
So I am so going to go play the clip now with Daryl Vaz and then we will dissect it. Because when we tell you, say, the man then steal the election and a non joking thing, me at talk about. I want to look for buff beer and I want to look out for the, the JLP internal poll, the indoor agents and the people who do canvas for them. I want to also look out, look out for Orange Bay because, because those, those two polling stations at 9 o'clock, they were still open. We have Darren Vaz, the Member of Parliament for Western Portland, the man who brands himself as Mr. Portland. Uh, preliminary reports we are hearing is that the GLP, if not 9-0 across the two constituencies in Portland, certainly 8-1, and Darren Vaz will tell us if what we are hearing is correct. Good afternoon. Good evening, Mr. Vaz. Good afternoon to you, Elizabeth. All right. Have you won Portland and by how much? Well, so far, remember that the official count has not been concluded as yet. So what we are getting as a, re as a result is our exit polls from our indoor agents at the various polling stations. Um, I can indicate clearly that the poll results and the canvas results are coming back clearly in our favor. Um, so far, I would say comfortably. We are just waiting on Port Antonio and Prospect, which are two very strong traditional PNP divisions. Port Antonio being the longest uh, serving councillor in, in the municipal council as we speak today. I have five, uh, uh, Mrs. Ross well, has five, I have four divisions, so it's nine. We currently win and hold a 72 lead. And we are, all nine were in play, as I indicated to Cliff before. Um, Buff Bay is close. Uh, you'll recall that I changed two councillors, sitting councillors. Buff Bay was also an issue, so I can't declare that one as yet because it's too close to call at this point. But I would not be surprised if the end result is 9 love or 8-1. Mm. Uh, it's, and, and, and I have to give all credit to Before my you go on, Mr. Vaz, let us be very clear. Mm. The, the, the results you're talking about are the results that your internal, indoor internal, agents... Yes, internal, your, internal GLP results. That, that they would have been at the counting centre. As a matter of fact, they are... No, as a matter of fact, they are still uh, people waiting to vote. Uh, that, that they are closed. So it's about Mr. nine o'clock. Let us be very clear. Mm. The, the, the results you're talking about are the results that your internal, indoor internal, agents... Yes, internal, your, internal GLP results. That, that they would have been at the counting centre. As a matter of fact, they are... No, as a matter of fact, they are still... Uh, nine o'clock at night. Uh, that, that they have not closed. Uh, two. Let us be very clear. Mm. The, the, the results you're talking about are the results that your internal, indoor internal, agents... Yes, internal, your, internal GLP results. That, that they would have been at the counting centre. As a matter of fact, they are... No, as a matter of fact, they are still uh, people waiting to vote. Uh, Look in face. They have not closed. Look in uh, face. Two uh, clusters. Because of can't believe. Because obviously issues with uh, IDs, etc. So as we speak, there are still persons and compounds in Buff Bay and Orange Bay that are still voting. But just... And Buff Bay was also an issue, so I can't declare that we currently win and hold a 72 lead, and we are... So Jamaica, I know you clearly Buff Bay poll was still open, Orange Bay Pool still whooping. So if the pool still whooping in a buff beer, or you know say it close, who would present you with those information? Anyway, let us dissect Jamaica. The first journalist asks him, have you won Portland? And by how much? Vaz reply, reply. So remember, so remember that the official count has not concluded as yet. So what we are getting as a result is our exit poll from our indoor agent at the various polling station. Vals go on and he stated, I can indicate clearly that the poll's result and the canvas result are coming back clearly in our favor.
Let I repeat what Daryl Vaz said again. I, I can indicate clearly that the polls result and the canvas result are coming back clearly in our favor. We currently win seven and leading in two. We currently win seven and leading in two. That's what the man said. Oh, you know you win seven and you're leading in two. And the vote not even reach at the counting station as yet. The vote not even reach a counting station as yet. It continues. It's an all nine seat were in play. As I declared to Cliff before. But I want you to listen this now and listen to me keenly. Buff Bay is close. Remember, we changed two sitting councillor. Buff Bay is close. Oh, you know, say Buff Bay close, brother. If Buff Bay is still open and, and voting is still taking place, how oh, would you have that information say Buff Bay is close? Come on, no man. I want to know, no man. Hmm? Anyway, it goes on. And he says, Buff Bay was also an issue. So I can't declare that one as yet. Because it is too close to call. At this point. But I will not surprise. If the result. Is 9 love or 8 to 1. <laughs> you have two polling stations till open. You have two polling stations still open brother. But you are predicting. You are predicting a nine love or a eight to one. See? Anyway, Cliff Hughes, come on now and Cliff Hughes start asking him a question. Cliff Hughes said to him, before you go on, Mr. Vaz, let us be clear. Be very clear. The results come on and listen about are the result that your indoor agency is say yes. Cliff Hughes, go on and ask him. That's the count from the counting center. He said, no. Is that the count you get from the counting center? He says, no. That's what he tell Cliff Hughes. Right? So Vaz reply to Cliff Hughes, no. As a matter of fact, there are still people waiting to vote. They don't close two cluster as yet. And that was after nine. Vaz replied to Cliff Hughes. No. As a matter of fact. There are still people waiting to vote. They don't close two cluster as yet. And that was about nine o'clock brother. And two cluster no close yet. And remember, said so the poll closed from five o'clock. We are looking at four hour delay of voting. He goes on and he says, because of person and obviously issue with IDs and etc. So as I speak, there is still person and compound. In Buff Bay and Orange Bay. This is what the man said. No? Because of person. And obvious issues. With ID. Etc. So as, so as I speak. There is still person. And compound. In Buff Bay. And Orange Bay. And Orange Bay voting. He goes on and he says, Buff Bay is also an issue. So we can't declare that. But we have already a lead of seven to two. Right? Buff Bay is also an issue. So we can't declare that. But we have a lead 
of 7 to 2. So Jamaica, my viewers and subscribers, let us take a look first into Buff Bay. He say that Buff Bay is close and them can't call it as yet. You are depending on your indoor agency and the canvas that the Jamaica Labour Party do to give Uno, Uno external polling, counting, right? A canvas is what you do for that area. And a canvas, say you're going to Kingston and 2,000 people live in Kingston. Say 1,000 a GLP, 1,000 a PMP. You're going to go run your canvas to find out if every one of the GLP them still live there, if, not, if none of them dead. So you have a count, maybe it come down to what? 900. The PMP would do the same thing with their canvas. On the day of election, you are open that they turn out and vote. Hope you are open for them to turn out and vote. Because at the end of the day, remember that a person can turn up in a green shirt but in vote for PMP. Remember at the end of the day, a person can turn up in an orange shirt and in vote for JLP. So now canvas shouldn't give you no legitimate reason for you to declare victory. Because at the end of the day, the person come in a green shirt or orange shirt, but you don't know who that person vote for. So for you to claim victory of a canvas and the depend on the canvas and your indoor agency for an internal polling, it's telling me that something is wrong. Let's go back to Buff Bay because you say, as I speak, people are still in Buff Bay and Orange Bay voting and that was around 9 o'clock at night. So the magic question in the room, Jamaica, how would he know that Buff Bay is close? How would he know that Buff Bay is close, Jamaica? First of all, he can't know that. The only way you're going to know that is at the end of the day when the poll is closed. The GLP indoor agent, the PMP indoor agent, and I think a presiding officer is inside. They're going to count off the ballot. The one they want you to know, use, the write off that you sign it up, the seal envelope, put it away. Then you're going to go tally the vote. You tally for the PMP and you tally for the JMP. I'm talking the indoor agent. You tally both for the PMP and you tally both for the JLP. Because you want to know how much JLP win by or you want to know how much PMP win by. So when you come outside, you can pass on that information to your cluster manager. And your cluster manager now will pass on that information to IR authority. So they know if they win cluster 1 or they win cluster 2 or they win cluster 3. That's the only way you can get the result from an indoor agent is when the poll is closed. You cannot get an accurate count from the indoor agency when poll is still open and people is still voting. So all this man know that Buff Bay is closed. That's the question we need to ask. How did he know that Buff Bay is closed? And polling station still open, voting still to take place. And as I said to you before, my viewers and subscribers, the only time you can know the actual count is when the polling station closes and that vote is tally inside and your indoor agent have, have their number. And when they come outside, they give that to their cluster manager. So if a cluster manager pass on the information and you know if you win by 10 votes, you know if you win by 1 vote, you know if you win by 2 votes. But the question is, how would Daryl Vaz know that Buff Bay is closed? The question is, how Daryl Vaz know that Buff Bay is closed when poll still open? How Daryl Vaz knows that Buff Bay is closed when voting still go on? 
Oh, Daryl Vaz knows that buff be a close when all nine o'clock polling station are close it. Oh, Daryl Vaz knows that buff be close and all nine o'clock voting still that take place. Those are the questions that we need to ask because you are basing, say, you get your internal counting from your indoor agents. And you are basing off what you get off the canvas. But remember, as I stated before, your canvas, you only can hope and speculate. Because you can have 1,000 people, but five of them go vote for the other side. Or would you know until the end of the day? You can't know until the end of the day when them vote, they tally up, and your indoor agent get the count and know so you going to win by 20 or you lose by 10. And then the indoor agent pass on those information. But for you to come and they tell we before poll close, say buff beer is close. Come on, you know something what we don't know, brother. You know something what we don't know, brother. So poll open until 9 o'clock. When we know the polling station close from 5 o'clock. And what could have cost that? And then you tell us because of ID issues. Why would somebody have ID issues and show up to poll at night to vote? <laughs> if I have ID issues, I would go early in the morning to get it sought out so I can get the cast my vote. Because I would want them to make sure so they can correct what needs to be correct so I can get to cast my vote. Me now go wait till poll soon close and they go in at night to go deal with ID issue. Is that make any sense? You know you have problem with ID and you go, go in at night. You understand what I'm saying? Them have to come better. As I said. We, but as I understand, said. When Cliff Hughes call it. PMP was leading six. The GLP have three. The GLP have three. And Darrell Valls call nine o'clock at night. And two polling stations still open. Four hours after poll close. And PMP move from 6 to 2. Think about it, Jamaica. What is taking place here? Tom junk, but Tom no fool. I said PMP need to get the people them in high authority in the party and start to work the Portland route. Because the Portland route is going to be critical come in the general election. Uno go start it out. You know, go sort it out. You know what the man say? But Buff Bay also has an issue. So I can't declare that one as yet. Because it is too close to call Jamaica at this point. But I will not surprise if the result is 9 love or 8 to 1. Cliff Hughes asks him. If you ask him before you go on, Mr. Vaz, let us be very clear. The result you are talking about are the result that your indoor agency is providing you with. He says, yes. The result what you are talking about is that the result that you are getting from the counting center, he says, no. He says no. He not get it from the counting center. That our indoor agency and people who do canvas for them, they tell them. The man declare and win the election before he even reach at the counting center, Jamaica. You know see what I go on? Mr. The man declare and win the election even before he reach at the counting center. When Cliff Hughes asks the man, the count, what you get, is it from the counting center? He said, no. He said, no. As a matter of fact, there are still people waiting to vote. They don't close to cluster as yet. And that was 9 o'clock going after 9. Why? What, what, what's the reason? Why? What's the reason? 
because of person and obvious issues with IDs and accessories. So as I speak, there is still person and compound in Buff Bay and Orange Bay is voting right now, nine o'clock at night. Poll closed from five o'clock. You know, she said the man then TV election and gone with it. Government badness. Bad boy. Walk out at bar. Yeah, say my guan. Government badness. You understand what I'm saying? But remember how they claim East Portland seat. Linval Bloomfield was not dead in his sleep. He never did car accident. He never go do a surgery and never wake out of it. Linval Bloomfield was murdered in 2018. And that's when a by-election run, when the seat becomes vacant. And Crawford go down there and his wife win the seat. Take sleep and mark death, Jamaica. Tom Junk. But time no fool. My message is for the PMP hierarchy. Who no need to get to work and figure out what is going on over in Portland. Because it cannot be where the people of Portland is go out there and voting and know that they win, but their democratic right has been stolen from them. And then don't feel good about it. So it's up to the PMP to solve that problem. Because the Commissioner of Police not doing anything. The Minister of National Security not doing anything. Fitzbailey not doing anything. And the Prime Minister of Jamaica is not doing anything. So it is up to the PMP to put in some private investigator over Portland to get this thing under control. For the 2025th general election. I sound the trumpet. I sound the trumpet. And ringing out the alarm. Mark Golden and the PMP. I authority need to set foot in Portland and figure it out. Beautiful Portland where the boat land. Uno go over there go figure it out. And go figure it out fast. Because this is the second time. They steal the people of Portland. Democratic right. From them. Anyway my viewers and subscribers. <laughs> stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV. Like and share and follow us over YouTube. We tell them so no man is an island. So therefore none of us can stand alone. Each one teach one. Even the suckling. You can learn from if you are not that I and mighty. The struggle is real. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's up in the cranium and a little common sense. You can move mountain. Remember that. My people, anyway, my people, be well. We tell them it's a God and good road. And the signature word, you know, the signature word, you know. Ah, to love. Ah, to love. Ah, to love. Peace, my people. Out.